thousand curses on a thousand books that never reveal the secret hiding place of the lamp. What good are books when they reveal nothing? Page after page describing useless charms and foolish incantations. Enough books. Be gone with well journal mumbo jumbo. Am I never to possess the lamp? Brother, calm yourself. Cool your temper. Ah, uh, Halima, sister. If only I could. What is it I have dreamed of possessing for years and years? The wonderful magical lamp of ancient China. Lost for centuries. I'm a powerful magician, Halima. The most powerful in the world. It could be. The lamp of mine. Perhaps it is only a legend after all. My books mention the wonderful magical lamp, but there are no maps, no books. Oh. With that lamp, the world would be yours. The lamp, the lamp, always the lamp! Gentle you nourish them all. I have good news. I have found the wonderful magical lamp. Mm -hmm. See for yourself. Look into the crystal. I see nothing. All is cloudy like watery milk. Patience. Mighty crystal, hear my pleasure. I seek the lamp and all its treasure. The clouds of them drift away. Make it clear the lamp is near. Look, the lamp. I see the lamp. Locked within a cave. Where is this cave? Put it to your ear. It will tell you. No, this is a deep and wondrous piece of glass. Do you hear what it says? Yes, yes. It's telling me what I wish to know. It whispered Shamar. The city of Shamar. The lamp resides in the valley of the moon. In a deep dark cave. The entrance of the cave is marked by a vulture circling overhead. Wonderful. Wait. What's this? Crystal says only a boy named Aladdin can fetch the lamp. Anyone else who attempts to do so will die. Why has this crystal never spoken before? Who can fathom the ways of the crystal? It is enough that it has said anything. You're wise beyond your years. Well, oh, good smart to got this. Aladdin. We must make preparations. Shmar is in another country. It will be a long journey. Have you forgotten my powers? Do you think I'm a wonderful magician for nothing? I have Butchera and the genie of the ring will appear and do my bidding. I had forgotten the genie of the ring. Genie of the ring, unless you've flown. Hear me well and make your presence shown. I, Jamal, command it! Behold, you see before you the genie of the ring. Ask, and if it's within my power, you shall have your wish. Hear me well, genie of the ring. Yes, your master. We wish to be transported at once to the city of Shamar. So far away, Shamar. Never mind that. You heard my brother's commands. I hear and I obey. Now, camels are slow and jackals are swift, so step on a carpet and then I'll lift over the land and over the sea. Soon in Shamal City, you will. Feel it in my bones. 
Good morning to you, Merchant Woman of Shamar. Don't you good morning me? I am in no mood to be put off. Here to complain about your son. Oh, Aladdin? First Aladdin. You only have one son. You only have one mother. What's Aladdin done now? This. He laid an egg? <laughs> I know his tricks. He made a hole in the shell and drank of the gill. Any of my customers were to purchase this egg, my reputation as an honest merchant would be ruined. Look at this. Look what he's done. Tore my good curtain in half. It's that outrage. I wanted a resident put in a cage. Aladdin? No, not Aladdin. His pet monkey. Alexander. That monkey is a menace. It takes after your son. Now that I think about it, it might be a good idea to put Aladdin in a cage too. Hey, that's not fair. Aladdin may be too high spirited, but he has a good heart. How much is this egg? Tell that to my torn curtain. Your monkey has stolen that scarf. 
Then the scarf belongs to you. No, the scarf belongs to me. You foolish boy, you shouldn't be here. You could lose your life. This is... My name is Yolanda. This is Aaron Shiva. We're serving Lace Princess Jasmine. To set eyes on three beauties in one day, fate is kind. Yolanda's the real treasure. Alexander, give me that scarf. If you don't give it to me, I'll never see another banana. I apologize for the monkey. Won't you take? I apologize for the monkey. If I didn't get stolen your scarf, I would scold him harshly. What is your name? Everyone in the city of Shmar knows my name. We don't. Well, I'm Aladdin, and this is Alexander. <laughs> He's quite sure of himself. I like that quality. His eyes are bright and steady, and <clears throat> he, he makes me smile. What he has found, he can count on luck and key. Yes, my dear. Whatever you say, my dear. Luck and key. The queen, Sultana. Quick, Aladdin, you must hide. Let's go, Alexander. There you are. Just fuck Aren't you ashamed of yourself, bad princess? Bringing off from the royal procession? And as for you two, off to the palace dungeon. Uh oh. You misunderstood, mother. Zara and Sheba ran after me. Take me back. They're completely innocent. I only ran off to chase them. <laughs> To chase a monkey. To chase a monkey. The monkey stole Princess Jasmine's scarf. What does one scarf matter? But so, Cousin Queen Sultana said I was to marry Princess Jasmine. Maybe yes, maybe no. That depends. Oh, there you are, daughter. I found her. No thanks to you, husband. Cousin Queen Sultana. Yes, Alibaba. Am I not to marry Princess Jasmine? I told you. That depends. Don't interrupt, husband. I do not want to marry Alibaba. I. Match. Oh, good. After all, you are my third cousin twice removed, and I've always been fond of your mother, who is, of course, my second cousin twice removed. Or is she my first cousin thrice removed? Or maybe she's my third cousin who never It always confuses me. But you do know the law of the land, wife. Anyone who wishes can petition for the hand of Princess Jasmine. <gasps> they can petition, but that doesn't mean they stand a chance, right? Um, wife knows best. Chop chop. Here, Queen Sultana. Let the procession continue. It shall be so. Inside, inside, shut your eyes and bar the windows. It is forbidden to look on the face of the Princess Jasmine. Come on, daughter. Time to return to the palace. Father, I do not want to marry Alito. He's stupid and he's late. All I want to do all day is suck on Christian and eat things. So what you dislike about him. That and his turban. His turban? I can never tell where he, when he's wearing it and when he isn't. His head is so big. It is. Yeah. Well, trust and faith, daughter. Leave everything to kiss me. Yeah. Husband, join the procession. Get in step. Coming, my shuttle dove. <laughs> Would you look at that, Sam? Rolando was. No, Yolanda. She was the princess. You are the nimble one. Give it here. I shall never part with this. Can I tell you a secret, Alcazar? One day, I shall marry Princess Jasmine. Should we change it? 
Would you like to be rich? <laughs>
You're out of practice, that's why. Alexander, you should do back there. Bags and sacks of jewels. I am the king of the jewels. I am bound to deliver to you and to this case all the jewels he desires. Watch our master is your pleasure. Quick, Alexander, pitch a couple of sacks. I'm after an old lady, too. Go out of the cave. Do you know where it is? Whoa. Why would Uncle want a dirty old lady when he can have jewels? How about all this is up there? Uncle! 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 Do you have the lamp? Hide here! Quickly, boy, the lamp! First, take the jewels! Never mind about the jewels! Give me the lamp! Obey me! He's going through the face. I give him the jewels. He might close his door at the cave's entrance. The lamp! Uncle, give me your hand. Help me down. I warn you, Aladdin. Give me the lamp. Obey me. I won't give you the lamp until I'm outside of the cave. I don't trust you. Then keep the lamp and be cursed. Uncle! Uncle! Don't leave me! Just close the stone door at the cave's entrance. Only a magician can open or close that stone door. Tell Kazam! That curse in the rocks big enough for me to get through? Better go on, see if it's nice. Well, friend of them. How are we gonna get out of this fix? Wait! You're a magic genie! You can get us out of here! Each genie has special powers, but each genie can only do so much. I, I can produce jewels! And jewels! And more jewels, that's all. Too bad I can't eat jewels. Alas! This ring didn't bring me much luck. Rub it. What? Gently rub the ring, oh master. If you say so. Behold, you see before you the genie of the ring. Ask in it within my power, and you shall have your wish. Can you get us out of here? A piece of honey cake, not to worry. Tell the genie of the ring where you'd like to go, master. To the city of Shimar! A popular destination. Are you make your own tooth, you wish, Dragon? May I call to? It's following this cave century for century. Why not? We'll all go. So be it. Get ready, get set. Now, camels are slow and jackals are swift. So step on a carpet and then I'll lift over the land and over the sea. So in Shimar City, you will be. Delicious cooking! 
cooking oil. I have delicious cooking oil. Any side rubs for house? I have rubs. Any kind of utensils? I have utensils. Beautiful baby trays room in your house. Come by. Shoes, any shape, any size. Two bunches of carrots, mother. They should sell. Carrots. I have carrots. Oh, bye. Finest carrots in all of Shamar. Business has never been this bad. Perhaps tomorrow it'll be better. I'm so hungry. There's no reason to be hungry, mother. We have uh, apples, cabbage, celery, and carrots. Yes, but I'm not a horse who loves apples. Or I'm a rabbit who lives on vegetables. Oh, for the taste of lamb sausages, bright and sweet oil of olive. Mother, Mila! It's a ladder. My son has decided to honor us with a visit. Don't be angry with me, Mother. I've had an amazing adventure. Oh, always an adventure. I met a magician. A magician? He said he was my uncle. Father's brother. Your father had a brother. Only the boy with the name of Aladdin comes to the cave. What cave? The cave of the lake, see? I see a dirty old lamp. The genie of the jewels says they're all mine. All the jewels I want. You're not making any sense, my son. As usual. There we go! Escape! Action! You're lucky I stole my villain! They are. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. 
I think this will do. Put it on the bed. Joe's will take a while, right? I have to send a cup for cloth. Never have I had such a beautiful shawl to wear. Can't be speaking to the Sultan Rags. You can't be serious about wanting to marry the princess. I'm serious. <laughs> So far, so good. Three princes of China, two of Nepal, one of India, and one of Afghanistan have asked for my daughter's hand in marriage. They're wasting their time. This foolish law about what an ultimate decision. Law of the land. No need to remind me. I want to marry Princess Jasmine. Hush, precious. Here, you hold the umbrella. I want to get a fig. Hurry along. We've got another dozen streets to visit. Are there any petitioners willing? To petition for my daughter's hand in marriage. There! What did I tell you? Ancient law or no ancient law. It's stupid. You, there, storyteller, announce your approach to the next street. I'm supposed to say that. I say it. <laughs> announce our approach to the next street. Wait! Who speaks? Oh, buddy Sultan, please forgive my insolence. I speak for my son. He has no father to speak for him. I'm listening. <laughs> he wishes to marry the princess. <laughs> I want to marry Princess Jasmine. Don't you worry about a thing, Alibaba. I would have a look at his character in my bag. What is his name? Aladdin, illustrious one. Aladdin? Aladdin. You heard my husband. Where is your son? Come, come. Where is this? Aladdin. Here I am, Sultan Sultans, and this is Alexander. <laughs> a ragamuffin? A street urchin? A, a nobody? How did he escape from the pain? Normally, I would have one such as you given to the royal executioner dream of your station. But since this day is like no other life is spared. A thousand thanks, Ming Monarch. A prince of India, up with a sultan, a hundred hiding elephants, each one painted gold. A prince of China offered a dozen trading ships, each one filled with furs and spices. A prince of Afghanistan offered magnificent horses, the numbers too great to have What did you offer, boy? I... I offer my love. My, my love to Princess Jasmine. Who could ask for more than love? Love? That's all? Vlad has a soul of a poet. Don't talk nonsense. But for you, my sultan and sultana, behold! Oh! Wow! I can't believe my eyes! Rubies, diamonds, emeralds, pearls! With much, much more than elephants and ships and horses. Much. Oh, my nose are 
you will of me. I've decided to finish the palace. Wrap things up. Everything. Everything. Top to bottom. Can you do it? Yes. Provided that you don't make any more changes. How long do you need? An hour? Ten minutes ought to do. Plastering takes a little while. All right, we've got ten minutes. Once the palace is finished, I'll tell the salt when the marriage should take place today, and I'll have Mother and Eva arrange a great feast. If I live to be a thousand and one years old, I'll never see all the rooms in this palace. Your mother, the Sultana, said Aladdin would have to build a palace like no other. The most magnificent ever seen. He's done that. Truly, I'm blessed to marry the one I truly love. How should I to find a husband like Aladdin? Rich. I would love Aladdin if you were poor. Do you really mean that, Princess Jasmine? If you could only read the love letters you writes to me, no palace and jewels can compare to the gift of true love. Nothing 
commit an empty space. How can this be? It must be some sort of abracadabra. I've seen this sort of thing before. Sweetness, and light. My brother will attend you in a moment. 
This is the nectar of desert peach. All for him at last, he delights in the flavor. <laughs> I will never offer him courtesy. Oh, stupid girl! More play with butter! What are we gonna do, princess? I don't know. I want to think of something. How can I think of anything except Aladdin? I pray it isn't true. My father would never send him to the walk. Yeah. Not Aladdin. Oh, if only Aladdin were here. If only I could see him again. <laughs> Your wish is my command, princess. Aladdin! At your service. Aladdin, how'd you get here? No time for that, Jasmine. Where is the lamp? It's all my fault. I wanted to please you, so I gave the lamp to an old peddler. I, I did not know what kind of lamp it was. And the old peddler was? Jamal. He'll be here in a moment, Aladdin. You must hide. Quickly, outside. The moment you see him approaching, warn me. Yes, yes, yes. The lamp, Jasmine. Where is the lamp? Jamal keeps it by his side. How will we get it? Maybe I can ask her as a gift. No, that would never work. You're right. Wait! I have it! Thanks to Sinbad. Sinbad? An old sailor friend of mine. He knew all kinds of tricks. What is it? It's called Vish. It'll make a charging tiger sweep. Put it in Jamal's head and after that, getting the lamp should be easy. I hope it works. He's heading this way. He must hide. Take it! I'm not a simple girl, Jamal. I'm a practical woman. Indeed. If fate decrees out to be your wife, so be it. You will not find me ungenerous. Our marriage will take place on the morrow. Then, you shall return to Shemar, and I'll claim the throne. May I offer you a cup of nectar? I'm told it's your favorite. How quickly you learn the ways of submission. Do you think that foolish Aladdin set himself against me? Let's not talk of Aladdin. He belongs in the past. I only think of the future. You have gone very wise and fit. It's a time princess, Jasmine. Does that please you, Jamal? It does. Then, drink to it. To the new Sultan of Shamar, I drink. Is he dead? Chickens. Chickens? Chickens. 
It's better than holding an umbrella all day. Do you do it? I shall always keep you close by. Thank you. Do you need the jewels? I thank you for everything. Do you need the lamp? I shall always keep you close by. Now let peace and prosperity reign forever in the city of Shamar. Promise. 